Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter eight, lesson six. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Um, so in our previous lessons, we learned that we have to do the opposite of whatever is shown so that we can um, go ahead and get to the answer. And whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other side too. So that equal sign, that's our little teeter-totter that we're using our little seesaw. Okay, so whatever we do to this side, we have to do to this side, okay? Well, so this is dividing z by 16. So if we were to multiply by 16, okay, then our 16s would cancel out and we would also multiply by 16 over here because whatever we do to this side, we have to do to this side. So I'm going to do 16 times 8, 8 times 6, 48, carry our 4, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4, 12, so 128. I know those fraction ones are a little bit scary. They're really not so bad, guys. Okay, write your work down. All right, next, it says 3.5. X equals 14.7. Okay, so when you have a number next to a letter, that means multiply. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide by 3.5, divide by 3.5. They're trying to scare y'all with this decimal in here. A decimal is really nothing but a normal number, guys. It's just not that bad, okay? So now on this side, my 3.5s cancel out. And then on this side, I just have to do the math. So I'm going to grab this. And remember that when we're doing division, that we cannot have a decimal outside of the box, so we have to move that once, move that once. So now I have 35 into 147. And I don't know my multiples of 35 past about 70, which is only two. So I'm going to, um, sorry, give me just a second. I'm gonna write down multiples of 35. Okay, so it looks like the closest I'm going to get is going to be 140. Well, that's one, two, three, four times. Okay, it's not going to go into one or 14. Okay, so I am going to extend that a little bit because it looks like we're going to have to add a decimal. So remember, four times 35, 140. Subtract, I'm going to get seven. Okay, now. I'm going to put a decimal and bring it up, and I'm going to put a zero and bring it down. Now, 35 goes into 70. Two times, two times 35 is 70. Subtract, get zero. So your answer is 4.2. Okay? All right. Okay, guys. This one says 32 equals 3.2 C. Okay, so now remember number, letter, that means multiply. So if we divide by 3.2 and we divide by 3.2, 3.2 is cancel out and we're left with C, that's what we need. And then 3.2, remember we can't have a decimal on the outside when we divide, so now I'm gonna have to add a zero in there, okay? So I have to move that decimal one time there too. So now I have 32 into 320. Well, that one's going to be pretty easy because 32 is going to go into 32 once and in a zero, and then I can just bring this zero up. So it's going to be 10. Okay. All right, y'all, I'm going to do one more with you. 
You guys have this. I know it seems scary, but you guys totally have this, okay? Two-fifths W equals 40. Okay. So this one, guys, if I were to divide this by two-fifths, I know it looks funky because there's a fraction and there's a fraction, but bear with me. And divide this by two-fifths, okay? Then these two-fifths cancel out. And then I have 40 divided by two-fifths. Okay, well, let's put the 40 over a 1 because we need it to have a fraction, right? Okay, then we're going to keep, change, and flip. Okay, so now I can cross cancel. Well, 2 is going to go into 2 once, and 2 is going to go into 40 20 times. And 20 times 5 is 100. Done. Okay, all right, all right, okay, I'm going to skip down to number nine because you guys can totally do these other ones by now, so we're going to skip to number nine, okay, three-fifths equals two-thirds T, okay, so again, okay, I'm going to divide this by two-thirds, Okay, because this is multiply and I need the t alone. I'm going to divide this one by two thirds. So now I have three fifths divided by two thirds because these ones cancel out. Okay. Then I'm going to keep, change, flip. Sorry about that. Okay. Now I can't reduce anything there. So I'm going to get 9 over 10. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So on this one, 1.6, 1.6. That one's going to be a 1. Boom. And... There's only one number that divided by seven will get you zero, and that number is zero. Don't let it trick you. Just because it looks tricky doesn't mean it is, okay? We're gonna do number 12 together because that one looks a little tough for you, so we're gonna go ahead and do that one, okay? All right, so three quarters G equals five eighths, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to divide by three quarters to cancel these out and divide by three quarters. Okay, so now I have five eighths divided by three quarters and keep, change, flip. Going to reduce. Four goes into four once, goes into eight twice. And I think that's about as good as we're going to get. So now I have five over six. Five, six. Okay, that was number 12. Okay, so you guys are going to do six, eight, and 11. Okay, no, this one's not going to be an even number. You're going to wind up with a decimal or a fraction. Take your pick. I don't care. Okay, all right. So, write your work down. It's important. Okay. Anne runs six laps on a track. She runs a total of one mile or 5,280 feet. Write and solve an equation to find the distance in feet that she runs in each lap. Well, she runs six laps. Okay. So, uh, so we're going to say. Six, and we're going to say D for distance. 6D equals that 5,280 feet. Done. Okay. Or if you want to do the dividing, okay, then you would have, you would divide this by 6 and divide this by 6. 
And then you would have D equals 880 feet if we did. Okay, six is not gonna go into five. There we go. Not gonna go into five, it'll go into 52. It'll go in eight times for 48. Subtract, get zero, oh, not zero, sorry guys. Four, four is less than six. I'm gonna bring down my eight and look, we're gonna do eight again. Eight times six, 48, subtract. Now we get zero. Now, since that's a zero and that's a zero, I'm just gonna move it up, 880, okay? You can put feet, it doesn't really matter on this one because it's asking for the number. Okay, all right guys. Deshaun uses three quarters of a box of rice to cook dinner. The portion he uses weighs 12 ounces. Write and solve an equation to find the weight of the full box of rice. Okay, so we have three quarters of the weight is 12 ounces. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so now I'm going to divide by three quarters and divide by three quarters. I'm going to put that 12 over a one. Okay, I know that I was doing it this way before, I'm giving you another option. Okay, then I'm going to keep, change, and flip. Okay, three goes into three once, three goes into 12 four times. 16, 16 ounces. Okay, write your work down. You still have to show your work. Okay, all right. That one is that one. That one's that one. Okay, all right. We're going to go into the back where you guys are going to do a lesson check because you're geniuses. And we are going to go ahead and do the file review. At top speed, a coyote can run a speed of 44 miles per hour. If a coyote could maintain its top speed, how far could it run in 15 minutes? Okay, well, in one hour, okay, there are four sets of 15 minutes, okay? Because the 60 minutes in an hour divided by that 15 is four, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to take that 44 miles per hour and I'm going to divide it by that 4. Well, 44 divided by 4 is 11. It's 11 miles. Okay? All right. Make sure you write your work down. Go back, rewind, do whatever you need to do to make sure that happens. Okay? All right. An online store sells DVDs for $10 each. The shipping charge for an entire order is $5.50. Frank orders D DVDs, however many. Write an expression that represents the total cost of Frank's DVDs. Well, it's $10 per DVD plus the $5.50 to ship it. That's it, guys. Okay, make sure you have your decimal in there. Okay, all right. A ring costs $27 more than a pair of earrings. The ring costs $90. Write an equation that can be used to find the cost feet and dollars of the earrings. Well, okay, so the ring costs $90. And that is the cost of earrings plus Sorry, the $27 more than the cost of earrings. There you go. Okay. All right. The equation 3S equals 21 can be used to find the number of students in each van on a field trip. How many students are in each van? Well, 3S equals 21. That's multiply, so we're going to divide. And S equals 3. Three students. Done. Oh, sorry, not three. Oh, seven, guys. Sorry, three goes into 21 seven times. 
Sorry, y'all. It's early for Miss Leah. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 8.6. Come on back for 8.7. See you soon.